Are you interested in video? Yes. Are you 13 years old? No. Well, 14 or 15 then? Yes. Have you got a video camera? Yes, I've got a video camera and I've got some tapes. Good. This is a competition. A short film about your family. Oh no, my family's boring. The prize is a trip to Sydney, Australia for two. Are you interested? Sydney, the beautiful beaches, surfboarding. Yes, I'm interested. Here's my camera. Where are the tapes? Ah! Emily. This is my dad. Hi, Dad. That's my camera. This is my dad's camera. Thanks, Dad. Hey, my camera. And those are my tapes. Hello, Mr. Harvey. Oh, no. How are you? I'm not bad, Emily. Where is Paul? Paul? Hi, Em. This is my friend, Paul. Hi. Paul is my assistant. What? My video assistant. Oh, OK. Paul, what is your favourite film? The City of Zombies. Uh... This is a competition. A short film on friends and family. The prize is a trip to Sydney, Australia for two. Are you interested? Sydney. The beautiful beaches, surfboarding. Yes, I'm interested. Yes. 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 This is my sister's room. This is my sister. Her name's Zoe. Ah! She's stupid. I'm not stupid. <laughs> She's 15. I'm 16. Hi. My name's Zoe. I've got brown eyes and long brown hair. Uh, yeah, cut, cut, thank you. Hi, Mum. This is my mum. No, I hate cameras. Oh, Mum! Emily, no! My mum's interested in painting. What's your favourite painting, Mum? <laughs> Hi, Dad. How are you? I'm busy. It's boring. I'm busy. Dad, what's your favourite book? I am busy. Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Roning. Dad? I'm busy! <sighs> Sorry, Mr. Roning. Yeah, Mr. Roning. <sighs> this is my family. Hello, Mr. Roning. What's the film like? It's awful. Emily, no! It's not awful. It's funny. What? It's very funny. Yeah? A trip to Sydney for two. Yes. Yes. And the winner of last week's competition is... Emily! Yes! Emily Duckworth wins two tickets to Sydney, Australia. I'm Emily Brooks. No, it says Emily Duckworth here. It must be a mistake. There's a new competition this week. 
a short film about a day in your life. My life? Oh no, my life is boring. The prize is a trip to Hong Kong for two. Are you interested? Hong Kong? Yes, I'm interested. A day in the life of Emily Brooks. Hi. Hi ya. For breakfast, I have cereal, milk, orange juice, and toast. Dad normally has coffee with milk. Where's the milk? There's some milk in the fridge. Mum always has grapefruit. Ow! Mum! It's always the same every morning. Emily, can you tidy your room today? Mum, I'm making a film. Ah, oh, I hate that grapefruit. Oh. Bye. Zoe, there's some toast here. I'm late for school. Zoe never has breakfast. She thinks food is bad for her. At eight o'clock, I go to school. Goodbye, Mum. Can you tidy your room? Every day, I walk to school. Emily, we're late. It's twenty-first day. Oh no! I arrive at school. At 8.30. At 8.35, you're late. <laughs> there are 950 students in my school. At school, I work hard. On Friday morning, we have maths. I like maths. Maths is easy. X equals 4 minus... Why? Sometimes it's easy. Y equals... So, X equals Y. No, that's not right. Sometimes maths is difficult. Thank goodness it's 11 o'clock. Break time is at 11 o'clock. So who's your favourite teacher? Mr Neil. What? Mr Neil? He's scary. No, Mr Neil's not scary. He's a good teacher. Emily, why are you in here? It's break time. Sorry, Mr Neil. <laughs> food, lovely food. At one o'clock, we have lunch in the school canteen. This is the school canteen. On Monday, we have chips, pizza and peas. On Tuesday, we have burger and chips. On Wednesday, we have spaghetti and... And? Something yuck. On Thursday, we have sausage, chips and broccoli. And on Friday, we have fish fingers. Sasha and Mickey hate fish fingers, but I love them. On Friday afternoon, we play sport. In the summer, we play cricket or tennis. This term, we play football. I'm really good at football. Girls are no good at football. Oh, really? I've got a brilliant idea. After school, I always go home and do my homework. Emily! What? What about your homework? I haven't got any homework. Well, then tidy your room. <sighs> and then I usually go to the park with my friends. Sometimes we use our bikes. Sometimes we use our skateboards. 
Sometimes we do nothing. <sighs> so what do you think? I'm really good at football. That's brilliant. A day in the life of Emily Brooks. The prize is a trip for two to Hong Kong. Hiya! And the winner of last week's competition is Peter Smith from Manchester. Well done, Peter. You win a trip to Hong Kong. I don't want to watch this programme anymore. Wait! There's a new competition this week. I never win. Don't turn the TV off. I can't win. Can you cook? Yes. Are you a good cook? I can't cook. I can. It's easy. Do you want to make a cookery programme? Nah. nah. The prize is a trip to Florida for two. Are you interested? Florida? Yes. The Sunshine State. What can we do in Florida? We can go shopping in Miami. I hate shopping. OK. We can take a boat trip through the Everglades. Yes! I hate boats. OK. But you like theme parks. Theme parks are cool. There are some great theme parks in Florida. So get the camera. I take a frying pan from the cupboard. I pour some oil into the frying pan. Put the pan on the cooker and heat the oil. Then I get a packet of fish fingers from the freezer. I open the packet like this and put some fish fingers into the pan. Stop. This is stupid. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. We mustn't argue. We need a proper recipe. Mum, have we got any recipe books? Write down the ingredients. Carrots, potatoes, onions and minced beef. We can go shopping. I hate shopping. We can catch a bus to the supermarket. I don't want to go to the supermarket. Or we could buy the food at the market on the London Road. A good cook must have fresh ingredients. I usually go to my local market. You must choose your vegetables carefully. A few carrots, two large onions, and some potatoes. I'd like 750 kilos of carrots, please. What? No, 750 grams of carrots. That's two pounds, 40 pence. That's expensive. They're organic vegetables. Organic vegetables? Thank you. Where's the meat shop? You mean the butchers. Hey, Vicky. Yeah? Do you want to make a film with me? Yeah. I'm a celebrity chef and I need an assistant. OK. <laughs> Put the chair by the fridge. Vicky, you stand here. Paul, you stand there. And action. Hello, Emily here. And this is my assistant, Vicky. Hi. 
Today, we're cooking shepherd's pie. Do you like shepherd's pie, Vicky? I love your shepherd's pie, Emily. <laughs> First, we take the potato and put it in boiling water. Don't you peel it first. Vicky, you peel the potatoes. I need to chop the vegetables. This is boring. TV must be interesting. I fry the onions in a little oil. We add the meat and the carrots. Then we add salt and pepper and a bottle of Worcester sauce. Then we mash the potatoes. Then we cook the shepherd's pie in the oven. Shepherd's pie. It's easy to cook and it's great to eat. Emily, look. It isn't a bottle of Worcester sauce. It's a little Worcester sauce. Emily, what are you doing? Mom, I'm a celebrity chef. You must tidy the kitchen. Hi, Dad. Are you all right? No. Business is terrible. Mm. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm happy to be home. <laughs> I'm really hungry. What's for dinner? What's this? Um, it's shepherd's pie. Oh, I love shepherd's I pie. No. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. I need some water. Then we cook the shepherd's pie in the oven. That's brilliant. Mmm. <laughs> it's delicious. Mmm. It's very good. Can I check my emails? Oh, Mum, I must finish the editing so we can win a trip to the USA. Well, don't be a long time, please. This time we can win a trip to Florida. Yes, the Sunshine State. It's cool. Yes! yes. Have you got Aunt Becky's mobile number? Yes, Dad, don't worry. Well, phone Aunt Becky at Burgess Hill, tell her you're nearly there. Yes, Dad. Have you got your money? Yes, Dad. Have you got everything? Yes. Can you ring us tonight? OK, Dad. And be good. Yes, Dad. And help Aunt Becky. Yes, Dad. Bye. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Emily! What? Your mobile phone. <laughs> Hi, Aunt Becky. I'm on the train. I'm near Hassocks. OK, bye. You're very tall now. <laughs> Let's go. So, 
What do you think of the pavilion? It's incredible. The wind's cold. You must be freezing. I'm fine. You need a scarf. Should we go shopping in the North Lanes? I'm OK. It's sunny, but it's windy today. I'll buy you a scarf. What do you think? I'm not sure. Do you like this one? No. What about the green scarf? It looks very warm. Do you like the colour? Yes. Ooh, but it's expensive. That's OK. Let's buy a nice hat. I like the brown one. <laughs> you hungry? A bit. Let's go along the seafront and have fish and chips. OK? Yeah. There are two piers. The Brighton Pier is very popular with tourists. That's the West Pier. It looks very sad. Yes, but it was very beautiful. Why don't they repair it? It's too expensive. Look, there's a fortune teller. Let's ask him about your future. Do you believe in fortune tellers? I'm not sure. Mm, I don't believe in fortune tellers. But... What does he say? He knows everything about me. He knows I make films and he knows my best friend is a boy. Fantastic! And there's something about Florida, but I don't understand. Let's go and get those fish and chips. I'm hungry. Yes, I'm starving. Dolphins, I think. That's amazing. Oh, anyway. oh, wait a second, sorry. Hi, Paul. No, I'm not watching the video competition on TV. I'm in Brighton. What? Florida? The fortune teller can see the future. Oh, let's talk later. OK, bye. Is it good news? The fortune teller is right. I'm going to Florida. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Becky. I love coming to visit you in Brighton. Please, send me a postcard from Florida. Of course. Don't forget. <laughs> Bye. This is a competition, a short film on friends and family. Thanks, Dad. Hey, my camera. Hi, Em. This is my friend, Paul. Uh... This is my sister. Ah! This is my mum. <laughs> Emily Duckworth wins two tickets to Sydney, Australia. I'm Emily Brooks. Can you tidy your room today? Mum? I'm making a film. So what do you think? A day in the life of Emily Brooks. Hiya! And the winner is Peter Smith from Manchester. I never win. Do you want to make a cookery program? Nah. The prize is a trip to Florida for two. And action. It isn't a bottle of Worcester sauce, it's a little Worcester sauce. <coughs> oh, that's disgusting. <coughs> What? Florida? I'm going to Florida! I want to go to Florida. Why does everyone go on exotic holidays? Everyone except me. 
We never go anywhere interesting. We always go to a caravan in Cornwall. We went to France three years ago. But we never go anywhere exciting. France was okay. Dad, do you remember our trip to London last autumn? Yes, I remember. We took the train. Uh, Paul came with us. Do you remember what happened? Yes. We went to King's Cross and we then took the tube down to the South Bank. I wanted to go to the Tate Modern. Come on, Emily. Let's go and see the Jackson Pollock paintings. Please, Mum, I don't want to go. I hate Jackson Pollock. You'll like his paintings. I don't want to see the Jackson Pollock paintings. He threw paint around. A child of six can do it. What do you want to do, Paul? I'd like to see the paintings, Mrs Brooks. I don't mind. What do you want to do? Paul and I want to go on the London Eye. Don't we, Paul? We don't want to look at paintings all day. Yes, I'd love to go on the London Eye. Come on, Dad. I can't wait. Uh, I've got an idea. We can go on a trip down the river. The boat goes from Westminster Pier down to Greenwich. It's very interesting. I don't want to go on a river trip. I went two years ago with a business colleague from China. It was very interesting. You go under London Bridge, past the Tower of London and Canary Wharf. Dad, I really want to go on the London Eye. What about St Paul's Cathedral? My dad took me to St Paul's Cathedral. I was 13. Dad, you can see St Paul's from the London Eye. I've got an idea. Let's go to the British Museum. Paul doesn't like museums. I don't mind museums, Mr Brooks. But the London Eye looks very exciting. You took us to the London Eye. It was good fun. Come on. I can't wait to get on the London Eye. Let's get a ticket. The London Aquarium's over there. We can go there later. Have you got your camera, Paul? Let's take lots of photos. Smile, Mr and Mrs Brooks. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. No time for chat. Wow, there's St Paul's Cathedral. This is the best way to see it. And there's Waterloo Bridge. It's amazing. And look, there's the BT Tower. And there's Charing Cross Station. Wow. Wow. Houses of Parliament. I'm, I'm Big, Big Ben. ben. <laughs> <laughs> you can see so much from up here. This is great. It's amazing what you can see from the top. And the way things appear as the eye goes round is brilliant. Look, here's one of you. <laughs> oh, it was a good day out. Oh my word, is that the time? I need to finish my work. <sighs> is that everything for Florida? I think so. Oh, it's hotter there than here. You don't need your code. Hello? What's happened? Paul's got a broken leg. He fell off his skateboard in the park. He's in hospital. Well, that's the end of Paul's Florida trip. He can't fly to Florida with you. I can't come with you. 
Emily's coming from England. She's my cousin. She's spending two weeks in Florida. She won a film competition. She's gonna be famous. At the moment, I'm still in the hotel. It's great. I arrived at Orlando Airport this morning. There was a man at the airport with a sign. It said, Emily Brooks. Oh, that's me. He drove me to this hotel in a really big car. I couldn't believe it. It was amazing. I felt like a famous movie star. Okay. I'll see you in the Point Orlando shopping mall outside Johnny Rocket's diner. Okay. I'm wearing a green t-shirt, jeans, and white trainers. Okay, bye. Hi, Miss Brooks. Is everything okay? Yes, thanks. Oh, can you tell me the way to the Point Orlando shopping mall? Sure. Just go out of the hotel, turn left, go along the sidewalk, the mall's at the end of the street. It's a two-minute walk. Thanks very much. You just give me a call if you need anything else, and have a nice day. No. Yeah. No. Uh-huh. You go past the movie theater. No, the movie theater. That's right, the cinema. You turn left at the clothing store, and Johnny Rockets is on your right. You can't miss it. Oh, excuse me, I'm looking for the movie theater. Yes, the movie theater is on the right, just around the corner. Thanks. Hey, is that an English accent? Yeah. I just love the English accent. Where are you from? Near London. I always wanted to go to Scotland. Do you know Scotland? Yeah, excuse me. I'm late. I'm meeting someone. Oh, I'm sorry. Have a nice day now. Thanks. Bye. Go past the movie theatre. And turn left at the clothing store. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Orlando. Thanks. Can I buy you a coffee or an ice cream? Uh, can I have a milkshake? Sure. So you're Emily? Yeah, and your cousin Sam. So what do you enjoy doing? I like reading history books. History? Yeah. I read books about history. And I love reading about English history. At the moment, I'm reading a really good one about the English Civil War. I hate history. Most people do. I'm different. Do you like visiting old castles in your free time? I wish I could. There are no real castles in Florida. The only castles here are built by Disney. Mm. I really want to visit England when I leave high school. What's it like living in England? It's good, but it's wet and cold. We don't need air conditioning through most of the year. That sounds nice. Do you want another milkshake? No, I'm fine. Don't you play baseball or American football? No. You must know all the theme parks in Orlando. No. I've got some special tickets to the theme parks. They're free. Do you want to come with me? Yeah. There are some really wicked rides. Okay. Yeah. How do you feel? Not so good. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. It's me. I'm the worst person to go on the roller coaster with. That's true. You were very sick. I'm sorry. I even get sick in the car. <laughs> and that was the most terrifying roller coaster in Florida. <laughs> My hair was like this. <laughs> I was really scared. Oh, now I feel really guilty. My hair isn't white. 
Is it? No. Anyway, I took some really good pictures with the camera. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Are you okay? I feel better now. Are you enjoying your trip to Florida? It's great, but... What? My friend Paul also won the trip to Florida, but he broke his leg. He couldn't come with me. I feel bad. He's my best friend. I'm enjoying myself, but I feel guilty. I want to take you somewhere. It's not as scary as the theme park, but it's more interesting. It isn't a museum of history books, is it? No. It's not as good as that, but it's the most exciting place I know. Hmm, how exciting is it? Well, I promise you it's certainly going to blow you away. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Wonderworks. Wow, that's the strangest thing. A tornado picked up a laboratory in the Bermuda Triangle and dropped it in Orlando. You must be joking. Yeah, I am. I'm going to take a picture of this. What are the best things to see? I can't remember. I was only six years old when my mom took me. Are you ready for the earthquake? I'm nervous. It measures 5.3 on the Richter scale. That's the same as the San Francisco earthquake in 1989. It's not as bad as the roller coaster. Yeah, but it didn't blow me away. No? But this is going to. What is it? It's a hurricane. I think it's worse than an earthquake. Oh my goodness. Maybe it's scarier than the roller coaster. Yeah, the winds travel at 105 kilometers an hour. That's faster than a racehorse. Wow. It really is going to blow me away. Look, you can design your own roller coaster ride. Great. Now we can design a ride that you'll like. Try lying on this bed at 3,500 sharp nails. I prefer lying on the bed at the hotel. You try. It isn't the most comfortable bed, but it's better than a roller coaster ride. Emily, I'm sorry. What for? You came to America. You wanted to have some fun. Yeah. But I'm not much fun. I'm the most serious teenager in Florida. I'm sorry. And I don't like roller coasters. Sam, you're great. What a fantastic holiday. No. Really? Yeah. I really like you, Sam. Do you want to have any of my history books? No, <laughs> thanks, Sam. I'm joking. I want you to come to England. We can go and visit some old castle together.
I'm going to the park. What time will you be back for dinner? I'll be back by seven. Why don't you call Paul? Paul isn't at home. We'll film from here. Hi. Hi, Emily. Are you okay? Yep. Jack. You start there and skateboard down here. Can I talk to you? I'll finish in a few hours. OK, maybe I'll see you later. Yeah. Maybe at six o'clock? I'm editing the video at six o'clock. Editing? I'll be at Steph's house. She's got some great editing software. Steph? Who's Steph? She's new here. She'll be in my class at school next term. Oh. She's really clever. Really? And pretty? Yeah, she's a writer. And her new film script's great. Really? She's choosing the actors next week. Really? And she's filming in three weeks. Really? She wants me to operate the camera. Her dad's really rich. Oh, is he? The story's very interesting. It will be the best student film of the year. <sighs> Let's go shopping this afternoon. I don't want to go shopping. We'll have a special meal. I'll cook your favourite food. You can invite a friend. I'm not hungry. We'll invite Paul. I hate Paul. I bought him a couple of presents in Florida, but I'll take them to the charity shop. What's wrong? I haven't got any friends. You'll be fine. You're tired. Are you going to Vicky's birthday party this evening? No. She'll be there. Who? Stephanie. Why don't you take the dog for a walk? Do I have to? Yes, it'll do you good. Okay. In a couple of days, you'll feel different. Parents, what do they know about life? I'll never feel good again. I'll be sad for the rest of my life. Come on. Hello, Mrs Brooks. Hi, Paul. Is Emily in? No, she's out. Oh, um, will she be in later? Yeah, she'll be back by six. OK, could you ask her to call me? Yeah, OK. Thanks. Paul called. I don't care. Will you phone him? No. He'll be at home this evening. I hate Paul. That'll be Zoe. She hasn't got her key. I'll answer it. Paul! Hi, Emily. I'm busy. I wanted to go to Florida with you. I broke my leg. I couldn't go. I was angry. Then Steph arrived. She wanted a camera operator. I'm sorry, Emily. I'm really angry with you, Paul. But you're my best friend, Emily. Hmm. <laughs> I bought you a present. Wow. I'll use this. And I bought you these. Whoa. You'll look really professional when you film Steph's script. I'm not going to work with her anymore. No? She's so bossy. Yeah? She's bossier than you. But she's not funny. She's very serious all the time. You make me laugh. And I bought you a T-shirt. It's great. Thanks, Em. I've got an idea for a new film. Will you help me? Yeah. What's it about? It's about this girl. 
She's a brilliant film director, but she goes away and... Is it a story? No, it's real life. <laughs>